Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the Pavilio EVV app. For training purposes, I'll be using the All Home Health test account and you'll be entering your email in this box right here. Once you are logged in, you will be directed to the dashboard. From the dashboard, you will click on the second icon on the bottom, the My Clients. Once you click that, you should be prompted to see your client's name. Once you see your client's name, you will click View Details. After you click View Details, you'll see on the screen, Add Manual Visits on the bottom of your screen. You will click that. For training purposes, I will be selecting PCA, but for you, whichever service you're putting in your time card for is what you select then you'll click add visit. From then, you'll be introduced to a date range from and to. For training purposes, I will only be doing one day on Sunday, the 7th. But for you, you could put in up to seven days in the past. The system won't allow you to plug in anything in the future. For example, if you have a shift today that started at 8 a.m. but ends at 6 p.m., you will not be able to put in that time card until after 6 p.m. And then after that, on the bottom, you can manipulate the time, the times that you're working during these dates. For training purposes, I'll be putting 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. You will then click add visit. Then you'll see a screen with the dates that you plugged in. Since I plugged in just for the date of the 7th, I only see the date for the 7th. But if you were to plug in more dates, you will see more dates. And then in here, you can manipulate the time even more. Just to show you an example, I'll make it 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. Then you'll be prompted to pick and choose the activities that were performed. Then after that will be your notes. The system requires you to have notes, but if you do not have detailed or specific notes that happened that day or those days, you can just put an A. Then you'll be prompted to sign. Next is your client or responsible party signature. If your client is there with you, they will be able to sign and put their unique pin, which is only unique to them. The caregiver should not know their pin. Same thing goes for responsible party. You will select the responsible party, have them sign, and they will put their pin unique to them. And the caregiver should not know that pin also. If neither of those are an option, you can click not applicable. And what that does is it will send it directly to the client or the responsible party onto their device for them to sign. And that's how you do a manual entry.